With spring approaching, which is very incredibly excited since I am so sick of winter and this being my lighting situation. But with spring approaching, I thought it would be really nice to go through some spring trends and to think about some spring appropriate knit and crochet projects that we can all be working on. I actually did some research for this video for once because I feel like usually I don't really look at trends that are written on fashion blogs magazines who reads and writes blogs anymore i found that maybe my ideas are getting a bit repetitive because i know what i like i think especially at the start of 2024 i really thought about and honed in on my personal style and the things i like making and the things i like wearing but i thought it was just getting boring because i would just be telling you to make the same things in spring which i guess is the idea of personal style however i thought it would actually be nice to look at what is trending because i genuinely had no idea and also just because i think it makes you think outside the box as nice and as good as it is to know exactly what you like i think sometimes it is nice to see what else is out there because who knows maybe there's something that really speaks to you so i'm gonna be talking about sort of overarching knit and crochet ideas based on the trends that i have seen i'm not gonna do it on just any old trend i did look through some articles and picked out the ones that I particularly like and that I would apply to my own practice. I'm not going to share anything with you that I think doesn't look good or I wouldn't do myself so there's definitely a blend of trend and personal style. Basically I want to see how you can apply those trends to knitting and crocheting just sort of overarching. Because I do both I will sometimes look at knitwear and use that as inspo for my crochet projects or vice versa just kind of mainly looking at the colours, the texture, the construction. If you you are just a crocheter I think this will still be really nice to just get some inspo even if I'm mainly showing sort of knitwear pieces and sometimes I might be showing like crochet inspo but you can always adapt it to knitwear as well so without further ado the main sort of articles where I pulled some of these inspo trends from were Vogue and who what where and one of the first ones that really spoke to me on Vogue was the aircon materials now I think this has been going on for a while while and I do feel like that about a lot of the things that are popping up but obviously last summer we had the whole mesh trend so I think this trend is quite similar to that but it immediately spoke to me because I love the idea of this not just being mesh but just being sort of airy projects in general so you can think about lace drop stitches in particular for maxi dresses and also this two-piece I've been obsessed with for a very long time I think this is incredible I don't know how applicable and wearable it is in real life but I do really 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 like that obviously in the summer for wearing over bikinis tops like that are perfect where you're kind of dropping two three rows and yeah just making that really really gappy i do think these sort of tops in particular they're kind of just knitwear staples for summer drop stitches in particular i absolutely love i kind of discovered those last summer as well and they're so easy to apply and it means that you work up your project so 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 quickly I don't even know if I can show this reference photo but just sort of experimenting with panels and attaching them on different sides to create this keyhole design. Keyholes in general I'm really interested in sort of integrating into my knitwear as well so I think that's a really nice technique. Then the next one we have is collars. I think this goes with the very preppy sort of aesthetic that has been quite popular. Again, this is something that I have been eyeing up for a really long time. One of my goals for the new year is to make more button-ups and zip-ups, just more yeah, preppy and functional items. So collars definitely come into play. Dimer Knitwear, I hope that's how you say it, they have an amazing array of collared knitwear pieces which are just amazing so does this brand they have this knit pattern i completely forgot what it's called but sort of integrating the collar there into just like a normal jumper i think is so 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 adorable you can then obviously do that in any type of color combination and you can go even preppier by doing the full-on stripes or crochet i was never a big fan of these types of tops i can't lie like it's just never really spoken to me but i honestly think maybe this summer might be the time for me to make one of these I'm actually thinking of making one of these for my boyfriend for the summer and then if he doesn't end up wearing it then I will definitely wear them but I completely forgot that these types of tops are obviously so popular in the summer but then they do have the collar which is so 
handy and I do just love anything granny stitch granny square because you can work it up so quickly and this in a nice cotton this is the perfect transitional piece for spring the next thing that spoke to me was shorts I feel like we're kind of transitioning from the micro short slash underwear trend I definitely think that's still going on it's just not very practical for the majority of people I think but I definitely am very intrigued by making short because what's the end of 2023 I made a pair of trousers for the first time on my knitting machine which did take a really long time but surprisingly turned out really really well and why wouldn't I try and do that as a pair of shorts for the summer because for some reason I really struggle finding shorts that I like and that fit me I absolutely love this sort of short sewing trend that's going on at the moment I definitely will be making more of those as well as we're sort of going into spring it obviously makes more sense to have a knitted version for spring because it still gets a bit fresh around that time I would definitely love to knit some and maybe even crochet some because that is full on the vibe again diamond knitwear are like one of my favorite knit and crochet brands so anything they do I love but I love the sort of longer more boxier fit but then if you do want to sort of go into the micro short trend then these ones are absolutely amazing where you're kind of utilizing different stitches I just think it looks so chic and so unique then we have roses I was very surprised to see this on multiple lists and articles because I swear this has been a thing especially if you are on like crochet top then you would have seen loads of tutorials of people making these flowers and yeah wearing them as chokers or putting them on their bags or I really like when people use them as belt loops because that's so ridiculous obviously that's not gonna hold your trousers up but it's just so cute and a little detail I definitely am interested to see how people will be integrating them in more creative ways that isn't just as an accessory I think it's really clever to just make a super simple top and attach a flower application onto it I actually got this top of Vinted and it's just a really simple tank top but it has these different ruffled flowers all over and it just makes it so much more interesting straight away now one thing I've seen which I'm very excited for is the color blue and more specific light blue sky blue because I think blue is my color I have blue eyes so I think it just makes it pop quite a lot I have been really obsessed with like a royal rich dark blue as well but the baby blue is so suitable for spring with colors I'm always a bit wary whether they can be a trend obviously we had red which is massive but I did see people talk about sort of a light green buttercup yellow but those are not for me they wash me out baby blue is gonna be the one and obviously that can be applied to literally anything whether you're making a little cardigan a little vest a little long sleeve that again kind of goes a bit more with the sort of drop stitch aircon vibe I love this maxi dress how realistic that is to recreate I don't know but then also to just integrate blue into sort of stripe designs or to just go straight plain jumper which there's nothing wrong with that I think the reason why I also really love baby blue is because it reminds me of a light denim this top I am obsessed with because it genuinely looks like denim material but it was clearly knit so things like that where sort of the washed out denim -y look why not add that into your knitwear I think that's really really cool then we have sort of the romantic aesthetic which again I feel like has been trending the whole coquette vibe has been a thing is a thing which I love I love bows I love cute things to a certain degree when I was looking for sort of inspo and just typing in like romantic knitwear I'm not a big fan of lots of frills or ruffles that's not really for me but if you are making a little peplum I think that's really cute utilizing bows to tie your piece together functionally as well and then I think the biggest way to make the romantic trend happen is by utilizing the correct materials mohair and anything fuzzy is gonna be your friend I love mohair anyways I think it makes anything super cutesy in my Valentine's video all the projects I was talking about were instantly cuter and more Valentine's themed and romantic as soon as you created it with mohair 
hair yarn so that's going to be a big one and then you can really apply it to anything making little boleros and again adding bows you can be a bit more meshier with mohair as well so that then is a bit more suitable to the season of spring so you're not creating a super warm piece but the mohair is see-through and a bit gappier so that works quite well another thing that i have been utilizing more which i think goes really well with this category as well is scalloped edges i love them so much i just think they elevate a piece so much more i added them to this black vest that i made and instantly it felt more romantic i've been adding them around my hoods which makes them so much more cutesy and it's such a simple and quick way to do that obviously then you can elevate it and make it even more ruffly it kind of then goes borderline lettuce hem which i know is not cool anymore i don't really mind it that much but you know if you want to be trendy then maybe stick with just like a nice scalloped edge then we've actually already gotten to the last trend that i want to mention and it is drapes i was super intrigued by this as soon as i saw it but it is definitely a more challenging trend to apply to knitwear definitely the first thing that you would sort of think of and come across is probably like a plunge neckline or a drapey neckline i definitely really like the look of that it kind of gives a bit of a y2k sort of aesthetic i think generally experimenting with necklines going even higher and letting sort of the turtleneck fall down or going a bit asymmetrical creating a piece that is kind of over layering the different panels i think would be really nice and then one of the simplest and most effective ways i could sort of think of to make draping work is by creating loops within your piece so adding ties into your piece where you can ruch a top or you can ruche a back or really ruche anywhere you want to ruche i think that's a really easy way to add it on and you can then utilize those ties to give it a bit more intrigue and have them dangle down your piece i think that is a really clever way to apply that and that is all the trends i wanted to talk about like i said this is a small selection of the trends that i personally liked and that spoke to me i wasn't going to mention anything that i wasn't excited by i hope there was some project inspo for you for this spring time the main things that i will 100 be integrating and that I kind of have been doing already is the mohair, the scalloped edge, the bows from the romantic theme and some things that I'm definitely going to put on my list to experiment with is the shorts and the collared crochet shirt. If I can make those this spring I'll be really really chuffed. But yeah thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!